Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. As you know, we were studying the design rules, and so far we have studied the Schneiderman's eight golden rules, Norman's seven principles, and today we will study the Nielsen's ten heuristics. So let's start with it. So these ten heuristics, in fact, describe how to design a more usable software. So it says, number one visibility of system status so that means we must show the user at any time at which place the, uh, the system is or what system is doing for the user so that user must have an idea that can currently what is being done for him so always keep users informed about what is going on through, through appropriate feedback with within reasonable time for example if a system operation will take some time give an indication of how long and how much is complete so it is a very simple example of status bar when we are copying so if I am copying just let me know what is the status of the task it has uh, co copied one third of the file half of the file or half the task is done 30 seconds remaining, 20 seconds remaining, 10 seconds remaining. So it must show me the system status so that I must be able to interact with it easily and I must be able to know what I am supposed to do after how much time. Next, match between system and the real world. Now again another thing, the system should speak or use the user's language, the real world language with words, phrases, concepts familiar to the user rather than some other terminologies. For example, if I give you a, an example that get data, for example, I'm, I'm giving you a word get data. So if I use the get, it will be easier for a normal layman person or layman uh, user to use it as compared to if I use the retrieve data. Retrieve is specific to us, computer scientists, software engineers, IT specialists. So, in fact, uh, we must try to use those words, those terminologies that are being used in the real world. It will give the user a feeling of easy to use software. He or she will feel like that it is easier to use. Otherwise, he or she will be uh, trapped into the phrases, the technical phrases that we are using. So it is very important whenever we are going to design some interactive system, the interfaces, the language must be as simple as it can be. Number three, user control and freedom. Users often choose system functions by mistakes and need a clearly marked emergency exit to leave the unwanted state without having to go through an extended dialogue. So this co concept is that of control Z, that is undo. So if I have done something wrong and I am trapped there, I must not get trapped. There must be an option that must allow me to undo the state and I must go to the previous state and it will help me and it will give me a feeling of freedom that I can move and if I make a mistake, I can go back. So again, user control and freedom users often choose system functions by mistake and need a clearly marked emergency exit and that emergency exit in fact is what in fact this that is undo so we must provide the undo redo options in our systems consistency and standards one thing is very important whenever we are going to design a software as i told you earlier we must better move with the standard so at least every user understand the standards so it will help us and if our application is consistent uniform in terms of actions in terms of interfaces or screens in terms of controls everything if those are consistent and standardized so our user will feel ease to use that software so users should not have to wonder whether words situations or actions means the same thing in different contexts that is inconsistency once i'm saying for example exit 
and somewhere I am using the word back back is for the previous screen it is not for the exit but I am using it wrong so my user will feel like that the different words are doing the same thing so it must not be there we must follow the consistency and standards so normally we use our standards as per platform conventions and those are in fact accepted standards for example for um, uh, web portals we we have different standards we have different rules and uh, guidelines same are with the mobile phones our for example tab or desktop application so we have different platform along with their own standards and consistency uh, guidelines fifth is error prevention again we must not allow the user to make the mistakes we must allow the validation checks and everything and we must try that the user must not be able to make any mistake so make it difficult to make errors even better than good error messages is a careful design that prevents a problem from occurring in the first place if i tell my user through a dialog box through uh, some message that what he needs to to enter what kind of data he want to enter the format the type of the data so it will help my user to enter the correct data he will not make any mistake so the first thing is I should go for the error prevention that the error may not occur and if it occurs in the study then we will provide the error resolution right we will resolve the error we will bring it to the recovery state where system will not crash rather it will again uh, allow the user to perform the task number six recognition rather than recall now we have guis in the past we had to recall we we had to <coughs> sorry we had to memorize the commands and we had to use those recall operations but now in fact when we have guis we have icons we have options we have labels we have everything that that can guide our user so our user need to not to memorize everything to load his short term memory so what he does he never go for recalling the things he never go for uh, memorizing the thing they just recognize the options okay this is cut this is copy this is paste this is save this is exit so what the does the what does uh, he do he normally looks at the things he recognizes the options and he performs the task so we must go towards the recognition that is we must show them they just look at these and they recognize they need not to memorize or recall so recognition rather than recall make objects actions and options visible those must be visible so that he may recognize the user should not have to remember information from one part of the dialogue to another he never in fact memorize rather he recognizes and he presses the options clicks the options and he gets the job done so this is we must make the things visible flexibility and efficiency of use this is again with a different name there is we allow our frequent users with the sh with the shortcut uh, options so allow users to tailor frequent actions accelerators you know what is an accelerator control c control v control z all these and other macros option or special keys or f1 or something these are the accelerators novice users are unaware of these but normally in fact the expert users know all these accelerators and they can perform better with better efficiency and those who are inexperienced normally they learn these options as well if they are using frequently that system number eight aesthetics and minimalist design normally you must realize that do not put too much information on your web page on your mobile phone application whatever is required that is required and you must show it so that user must not put burden on his memory and he must try he must find out the options that he want to avail easily so now 
dialogues should not contain information that is irrelevant or rarely needed that is not needed in fact every extra unit of information in a dialogue competes with the relevant units of information i and diminish diminishes their relevant visibility what happens if i put too much text on a screen then whatever is needed by the user it will not be the user will not be able to find it out easily because there is much more information on that page on that mobile screen on that <coughs> your uh, desktop application so when he tries to find out an option or some information or some uh, guidance so he will not be able to try to find it out easily if there is too much information is placed so we must take care of aesthetics the beauty along with the minimalist design that is what is required only show or provide those options those things in a dialogue do not go beyond that number 9 help users recognize diagnose and recover from error look at this 5 error prevention i said try that your user may not make any error number 5 was this and now at number 9 it says that if we are unable to stop user from making that error and he makes an error or some error appears then there must be some 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 support system that must help the user and user must be able to come out of that error state so it says error message should be expressed in plain language no codes like 404 or something precisely indicate the problem and construct can constructively suggest a solution so if if an error occurs i must design a dialog box that tells the user how to come out that error state cancel yes no or whatever the options are on the basis of that particular problem or the error we can provide the user to come out of that state without crashing that software then there is help and documentation it says normally very few softwares are there that can be fully used without any user manual if a software is complex if a software is big or huge then we need the documentation so we must provide the user files the help files the user manuals the, uh, the help documents so that any such information should be easy to search focused on the user's task list concrete steps to be carried out and not be too large so it must be very uh, comprehensive uh, document that must provide all the information about that software how to use it how to troubleshoot how to come out of any error state so everything that we need to have in that software that must be provided in those documentation or help files so this is all about the nielsen sand heuristics hope you will understand that thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi